Hi, I'm Matt McMurray from Campus Automotive in Blacksburg, Virginia, and today we have the new Mickey Thompson Baja Legend EXP. The Mickey Thompson Baja Legend EXP is the newest tire in Mickey Thompson's lineup. Mickey Thompson calls the Baja Legend EXP a hybrid tire with real all-terrain capability. The Baja Legend EXP could be compared to the Nitto Ridge Grappler, the Toyo Open Country RT, and the Yokohama Geolander XAT. It's really positioned between the Baja Boss AT and the Baja Boss MT. The best applications for the Baja Legend EXP would be a Ford F-150 Raptor, Ram 2500 HD, Ford F-250, Jeep Wrangler, Ford Bronco, or anything else with a lift kit that would benefit from a tire like this. So if we look at the tread pattern, we can see that this center rib section is packed pretty tightly for a hybrid tire. There's not a lot of space in comparative to some other hybrid tires in these grooves. But each one of these tread blocks has all kinds of biting edges and it has some chamfered edges right here to reduce that noise like we talked about earlier. We'll also notice that there is siping in each one of these tread blocks, but I would have liked to see more siping because I don't know if this is gonna be adequate as the tire ages for that winter weather traction. Probably one of the reasons why it's not three peak mountain snowflake rated and some of its competition is. So some of these tread blocks have these connectors in between for stability. And that's just going to help you keep from feeling that squirm and make sure that it's a solid and comfortable feel on the road and it handles well. In between these outer tread blocks, you'll see you've got some stone ejectors here. And you've got a tapered section and a couple in these alternating tread blocks. As the tire ages, it kind of changes the shape of this block. And so you can still have some traction um, even as the tire ages. But it's pretty plain tread. It's not, there's not much to it. Uh, it does look good. Typical of Mickey Thompson. Now Mickey Thompson is owned by Cooper, which is now owned by Goodyear. So we might see some of these lines change just a little bit. These, the grooves between the outer tread blocks and the inner rib, they're pretty big. So you can fit this, pretty much fit the Sharpie in, in one of these grooves. And then on the outer tread blocks, it's the same. Very large voids in between the tread blocks and that's what gives you all that traction and it splits the difference between an all-terrain tire and a mud terrain tire. So you'll notice that these outer tread blocks are scalloped in an alternating pattern. What that's going to do is give us good traction off-road but also reduce the noise. So as we move down on the sidewall we see these side biters here. Nothing special, pretty good looking design not as aggressive as some of the other tires in this category. So it's gonna give you more traction off-road when aired down, especially in sand and in mud. And it's gonna keep this sidewall from getting pinched on obstacles kind of sticking out in the trail in order to deflect those obstacles like we've talked about a lot of times. Now you'll notice that this tire is made in the USA. Like I said, Mickey Thompson owned by the group that owns Cooper and now Goodyear owns that group. There is no rim protector on this tire, which is uh, kind of odd, but some tires have rim protectors, some don't, and there's arguments against and for, but usually I like to see a rim protector. This is the date code for the tire right here. So this means the tire was manufactured in the seventh week of 2022. We also see the size here, 275, 55, 20, and then their compound designation, the T4 compound, which is a proprietary compound of Mickey Thompson that they use that has a lot of silica in it so that they can get that wet traction and that winter traction. You'll notice that on this label, there's a special designation right here. It says 4x4 POR, professional off-road for regulation, blah, blah, blah. This tire is a special use tire primarily used for service in severe off-road conditions and is exempt from tire performance label grading. Normally tires are graded. Now this Mickey Thompson is not graded, but this general passenger car tire is graded and you can see that the tread wear is 500, the traction is AA and the temperature is A. So that's the difference between the two labels and the two designations because the professional off-road designation exempts it from these ratings. So I brought over a couple more tires to compare to the Baja Legend EXP. This is kind of what you would shop for. You would cross shop these three tires probably if you were in the market for a hybrid tire. So on my right, of course, I got the Nitto Ridge Grappler. It's extremely popular right now. And then we have the Toyo Open Country RT. 
So if you look at like tread blocks and void size, you can see that the Ridge Grappler is kind of, you know, the least aggressive of these three tires and then the Baja Legend EXP and then the Open Country RT, which is the most aggressive, almost, as cl almost close to a full mud and uh, off-road tire. None of these three tires has a lot of siping, but the siping is designed different. It's full depth on this Nitto. Here we got squiggle type sipes instead of straight line sipes like we have on these other tires. So, you know, it's, it's kind of the same thing. You would probably see more Mickey Thompson Baja Legend EXPs on, on lifted Jeeps and lifted Ford Broncos. And you'd probably see more Toyo Open Country RTs on three quarter ton and one ton single rear wheel trucks with lift kits on them. And then the Nitto Ridge Grappler kind of splits the difference. So I just wanted to bring these three together just to kind of give you an idea what most people kind of cross shop when they're looking for new hybrid tires. All sizes carry a 50,000 mile tread wear warranty. The Baja Legend EXP is available in 41 sizes from 15 to 20 inches and all of the sizes are LT load rated D and up except for 15 inch tires. They're still C rated. The size of this tire is LT275-5520 and it retails for 28309. You can pick these up at tirebuyer.com, tirerack.com, or the Amazon affiliate link in the description below. On the scale of try it, wash it, or trash it, I give it a try it if you're in the market for a good hybrid tire. I'd like to see more siping in each tread block. The tread grooves do a great job of evacuating water from under the tread to reduce the risk of hydroplaning. I think the hybrid tire terminology might be changing to rugged terrain. So the bottom line is I think this is going to be a pretty good tire. So if you have any questions or you'd like to see me do a particular review, drop them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. To see more Mickey Thompson tire reviews and comparisons like this one, check out these videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.